Hey guys, JNT Shooter Reviews back again. Got another video for y'all today. This is gonna be on a budget review, uh, sort of say, uh, because you're gonna be surprised at how much I picked this rifle up for at old Wally World. Uh, I know a lot of Wally Worlds don't sell guns anymore, which is stupid. They used to sell ARs and all types of things, but they won't talk about that anymore. But picked up this Rossi RS-22 for $116. That is cheap as hell. That was out of the door, out the door price. So if you ask me, you can't find guns anymore for that price, uh, for the budget minded. I know a lot of people are struggling, things like that right now. So um, I know a lot of people are friends and all types. So uh, I figured, you know, people ask me all the time, what's a cheap, cheap option for, you know, maybe a rifle for self-defense or they just can't afford an AR or whatever the case is or getting into firearms. Cause I get a lot of comments on my channel about this stuff. So to help uh, people out, this is probably the easiest, cheapest way to get into a firearm. Um, it is 22 LR, that's what the 22 stands for in RS. But, um, I mean, I don't have any complaints about this rifle, and I like that it is so budget-friendly. Uh, it does feel like a very nice rifle. It is very lightweight. Uh, shot about a whole brick through this, or half a brick, 500 rounds, and haven't had any issues with it. But we're going to talk about a few things about magazine availability and aftermarket accessories. Um, that's going to be kind of a big one for this rifle today. Because I know a lot of people are going to complain, complain it only comes with one one mag and it's 10 rounds. Um, that's all it is. Uh, unlike, you know, the Savage 64 Fs, they only came with 10 round mags and it took forever for people to start producing extended mags for them, which they were just two 10 round mags welded together pretty much. But uh, let's just hop into this. Uh, stop talking and I'm gonna shoot this real quick and we'll go over the specs so ten round mag should have been ten rounds I didn't uh, fully count it I think that's what it was but needless to say it does have a last round uh, bolt hold open on the mag so it only holds a bolt on the mag uh, in easier terms. Locks like that, very simple. Pull the mag out and the bolt drops. So it just pushes on the back of the magazine. Like I said, these are 10 round mags. That's what it comes with, one round or one mag with the purchase of the rifle from Wally World. But um, so the mags do go for about twenty to twenty-five dollars online, and you have to pay for shipping, of course, unless you're doing a big old bulk order. But uh, twenty-five dollars for ten-round mag. Eh, I mean, it is well constructed. I'll give it that. It does have a nice red follower on it, so can't complain. I mean, it works. Hasn't given no issues. So twenty-five dollars for a mag that won't really give you any issues. Can't really complain, I guess, in that sense. But it's just part of it, you know, with this gun stuff. So, got the mag. We'll start from nuts to butts like usual. Back here on the back, it is just a black polymer uh, butt pad on it. Uh, it's just a 22, so you don't need anything crazy. You don't need any, uh, uh, what is it, those reduction uh uh, butt pads that people sell for like $50 stuff like that. Those are worthless for 22s You don't need that But this whole stock though is very nice I must say for the price of this rifle it is arched in the back a little bit for the cheek weld and I really really like that it feels really good when you're looking down the sights it kind of keeps it keeps your cheek up which that's why it's a cheek riser so it is very comfortable. Um, I like how they molded that into the stock. I think it was smart. You have a little bit of grip here uh, where your hand goes and it's not very textured, but it's cut out. So it feels all right, nothing crazy. You have a uh, trigger, of course, just a polymer trigger. 
it's real it's pretty nice uh, no complaints with it it is like a five and a half pound trigger or so it's nothing crazy it's actually pretty nice it breaks very smooth no complaints uh, 100 like I said 116 dollar rifle I mean you can't complain with something like that you have the oversized bolt uh, handle charging handle which is very nice so you got on your shoulder is very simple and you can take it out if you're cleaning your rifle uh, that's what you want to do whatever um, so that's really nice it is a cross bolt safety so if you do not know what that is I'll show you so this is the uh, rifle that is uh, vertical so you can see right here in the front a lot of shotguns have this you just push it over like a cross bolt and you know, red is dead obviously and if you push it back over it's on safety so the trigger's dead but um, on this rifle it does not have the magazine disconnect so the trigger can still still go bang if you're on uh, fire so just keep that in mind you can put a optic on it with those little re uh, weaver rails kind of like the Henry's have sorry damn, butter, damn butterfly so you have those little weaver scope mounts put your little optic on this if you want no, nothing crazy um, the sights I actually really like the sights on this thing they are fiber optic they are uh, windage and elevation you can change which is really cool for you know you buy a Ruger 1022 um, they have a little bit of play with them you can do with a Ruger but um, this is really nice for these being optic or uh, fiber optic and everything right out of the box it's very easy to change everything you can see it tells your right is up and down I mean it's very simple how this works and also uh, another big complaint I have a lot of people know about that I complain about this about the Ruger 1022 it does not come with uh, swivel studs so you want to put a nice little sling on your Ruger 1022 woodstock you can't because it does not come with the little uh, a damn little uh, can't remember what you call these like little swivel stud uh, attachment so um, you know I wish Ruger did that but they don't so you know they lose some brownie points but I'll show y'all the sights for you try and get you a little bit of an angle and pull it up a little more for y'all sorry about that and you see the red in the front and you got green in the rear so that is pretty cool I like that uh, companies don't put the same color on the front and rear that's annoying companies do that I really don't like that so I like that they put red in the front um, and it does have this little hood over the front sight but it has a cutout usually like on Henry's one of my Henry 22 LRs have it it has that little hood cover so the sun's hitting down on it um, since it's a little brass bead front sight so the sun's hitting down on it uh, it's not gonna shine and lose uh, sight of your front sight but with this being a fiber optic I'd say the reason for the cutouts is so if the sun is hitting it it does light up that fiber optic a little bit better and you can see it a little bit more so either way pretty cool and it protects your front sight <clears throat> excuse me so no complaints there pretty cool um, it is blued this model they do have other colors the black stock the brown a few other ones but uh, this is the one they had and $116 out of the door I mean you just can't complain about that you get $116 for this and I bought a brick. I went to a gun store. I didn't buy any 22 ammo from Walmart, but my Walmart has a ton of 22 ammo. Uh, they have CCI, Federal, all types. You can get a whole 500 rounds out of a brick and you pay like $25, $30 or so. So it's not like it used to be, but it's not bad at all. Can't complain. So I like that. Um, so right out the gate, great little rifle. Oh, and this is the for the magazine uh, it's this little push button right here hopefully y'all can see that real good push it forward and pull the mag out and it's very simple I'll show you real quick put the mag in push pull down and you're done so 
this gun actually does have a good bit of aftermarket accessories, which is very surprising. But something I found out, Mossberg used to own this whole, uh, I guess you could say, the setup for this rifle. They owned this rifle. And I'd say Rossi bought the uh, trademark, the patent from them, and now they sell this rifle because it was the Mossberg 702 Plinkster. That's exact, that's all this gun is. Rossi just bought, I'd say, the patent and all that, and they just stamped their name on the side now, right there in the back, and now it's a Rossi product. So uh, it, all that stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my tone. Um, all the Rossi stuff is the same as the 702 Plinkster, which they obviously, they discontinued the 702 Plinkster to my knowledge. That's why Rossi has the RS-22 of it. So, um, if there's any like 702 Plankster mags, they'll work in this. Um, with that being said, I bought a 702 Plankster 25 round 22 LR mag. I paid way too much damn money for this. Um, and this was a whole nother story in itself. Um, which it is nice because now this rifle can take 25 rounds and you know you get a little more firepower for i did pay like 45 dollars for this magazine which pissed me off because when it came in it was assembled incorrectly which that really pissed me off because i had to take this apart and it was such a pain in the ass i'll never buy another one of these mags because i don't want to risk having to take it apart again and have to assemble the whole thing because this is put together by hopes and dreams is literally how they put these together. Because all this is, is a, they take a 10 round mag, like the one I just threw on the ground, I shot out first. They take that, they put it in this plastic housing. They rip the bottom of the uh, plate of the 10 round mag out and they add an extra long spring. And that's what is, as you see in the bottom there. So that's all that is, it's an extra spring in there and to total 25 rounds with an extra follower but they assemble these like junk. Now, since I took it apart and I didn't realize they had such problems with their quality, con uh, quality control, excuse me, with these, I would have never bought uh, one of these Macs. It is such a pain in the ass. Um, and these little spring tabs on the bottom do not help loading the mag. Um, I have shot this rifle a good bit I watched a bunch of videos and I was like, people are loading the mag wrong. They're not using the springs. You literally cannot use the little, uh, here, let me put this right here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You cannot, these do not work at all. It is a useless piece to this magazine. And um, like they should have just used Smith & Wesson MP 1522 mags for this because it would have been a million times easier. I'd have paid $60 for the mags. But these are just so junk, how they're assembled and just the quality, like I was saying. But uh, when you have it in the mag, in the rifle, you push on this back button and you can pull the mag out. But with that being said, this is what was messed up. Um, this would not go in. So I had to take all these screws out and take all this junk out and like I said, you have to hold your tongue right to get this put back together. It is horrible. And when you load these mags, you're gonna wanna take like a little, um, maybe a little tiny wooden dowel or like a little metal, a little uh, metal like shish kebab uh, they use for the grill. Put it through here into these little uh, crevice where the spring is and hold that down and then you can load the mag. Uh, like I said, these push tabs don't work at all. And I kept, like I said, I kept watching YouTube videos and I was like, these people don't know how to load a mag. It does not work. Uh, I'm gonna do a, I might do a video for y'all one day if you really wanna see it, how much it pisses you off because it's, it is miserable. I cannot stand it. So that being said, let's shoot this 25 round mag. I've done enough talking, all right?
just like that 25 rounds down the hatch no problems again so i mean i'm telling y'all this is such a reliable rifle uh all the kinks are worked out of it like every gun with the first gen they always have problems They're always having this or that go wrong with them but this rifle like i said from the 702 plinkster this rifle's been out for a long time they fixed a lot of problems except those piece of junk mags uh they are just garbage uh for the quality side but I mean, once you load them and you shoot it, it works. So I don't know. I don't understand how that works. Uh, Laws of physics, I guess, doesn't apply to Rossi. So, um, but other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. I'll be doing a bunch more reviews on firearms. Um, I know I've slacked off and I've done a bunch of gear reviews. Been kind of lazy. So we're gonna fix that and do more rifle stuff and pistol and shotgun. Maybe some special stuff too, but I'll see you guys on the other side.